Welcome back. And as promised, we have our two young stars of Amal and the Night Visitors. Uh, we have Shay Walters and Henry Lunn. And of course, Susan, thank you for joining us again on sure. this segment of the show. Um, be actually, before we even turn to the, the two young stars here, why don't you tell our audience when they can come see this show? Sure. Come see these guys. Um, it's December 2nd, which is Friday at 7.30. And then on December 3rd, we have two shows, one at 2 p.m. and one at 7.30 p.m. And then we're back on Friday, December 9th at 7.30, Friday, or Saturday, de December 10th at 7.30. And then our final show is a matinee at 4 o'clock on December 11th. Are you guys psyched? Yep. <laughs> I'm really excited for this. So, Shay, let's start with you. So how does it feel to be a diva now? You're an opera star. Well, I've loved music with all my life, and I think this is a great opportunity for me. And I this is a great experience, and I can tell just from starting. So is it fun or is it scary or is it both? Oh, it's it's both. It's scary like just about before you're going to get on stage but it's so much fun before then. It's awesome. Henry, you think the same way? Is it awesome? Yep. <laughs> really excited then. <laughs> yeah. So how about you? Do you think that you approach it? Are you, uh, you excited about it? Scared? A little bit of both? Both, kind of. Yeah. When I'm just before I am going on stage, I'm like, okay, I'm scared. Okay, and then I'm on, I'm like, oh, this is fine. <laughs> uh, how about you? You have that same kind of stage fright mm -hmm. before you go on? Butterflies. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think that uh, Susan will probably tell you that's a good thing. Yeah. Right? If you're feeling just a little scared, it gets you a little pumped up in order to go on and do it. Right? So, Henry, what's your favorite thing about playing the role? Um, I don't know, actually. Um, just all of it? Mostly, all that. <laughs> How about you, Shay? You got a favorite part? Um, it's just the anticipation is awesome, <laughs> and it's just knowing that you're going to have a good time on stage is really nice. Now, is this the, the first time on stage for you uh, doing this kind um, of thing? No. Well, actually, this is my second opera, and their operas are very fun. I've done a lot of acting workshops, which mm -hmm. did a production at the end. I did a few plays, like Oliver, Babes in Arms, and many things like that. And how about you, Henry? Are you a um, newcomer to the stage? I uh, was just in an opera in Northwestern, and then I was in Oliver, and I've only been like five shows and w w one opera. Well, you're 11 years old. What are you waiting for? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, get on this stage. This is my first um, thing with actually lines, so. <laughs> oh, that's exciting. Right. Mm -hmm. So uh, do you have trouble memorizing lines? I, I was on stage, and I always was afraid I was going to forget everything that I would learned. Not really. Are you pretty good at it? <laughs> I think so. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're going to find out, right? Susan, I bet you know these guys are pretty good at yeah, they're, it. They're doing excellent, yeah. We had our auditions in January, and so they've been working on it since then. And so it's just really great to see two kids come on, and they're so prepared at the first rehearsal. So do you watch each other? Do you guys, like when you're at rehearsal, do you watch what the other one does <laughs> yes. in the role you're playing? Yes. So what, what do you learn from, from watching Henry? Um, well, I, because sometimes we go in front of each other when we're going, our cat, like when we, because we have two separate casts, and we, so the first person who goes up, the, the when the first person goes up, the second cast is always watching, mm -hmm. and it's kind of good to learn what they're doing, learn from what they're doing and the mistakes they're making, and then so we can improve that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there are no mistakes. No one makes mistakes, right? Um, I like when um, there is, okay, there's this one scene where, where the kings come in, and I like when um, the k k kings come in, I can watch them, and, th and, th and th 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 they're like, oh, see that, and then they're, and, oh, what's that? And it's, it's fun to see, okay, that's what I should be doing, or I like that, or I don't like that. Well, I would think, you know, there's an interesting point, because as you, it, when you're on stage, you see it with one perspective, mm -hmm. but if you're out in the audience, you see something quite different, mm -hmm. right? So being able to watch the other one gives you some insights into how the whole, whole play fits together. Is that, you mm -hmm. find that that's true? Mm -hmm. uh, Shay, same, same sort of yeah, thing? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's nice to learn from, it's nice to have a double cast so you can learn from like the different moves that they make. Mm -hmm. If they do something good, you obviously do that. And then vice versa. Too. And if they do something bad, yeah. <laughs> you're not going to do, do that it. one, right? Yeah. Uh, so how did you get started singing? Now, opera is a pretty tough thing to learn how to do, and you're only 11, you're already mm -hmm. doing it. Well, I, I love singing. That's one of my favorite things to do. 
and I wanted to try something new because I, this is only my second opera, and I found Petite Opera Productions, and I thought, why not try it? So were, had you, um, before your, your previous opera, I mean, were you thinking of opera, or was it just a kind of an opportunity that came up and you thought, why not? Oh, no, I wasn't searching for opera. I was just like, why not? Why not do something new, try it? Henry, how about you? How did you get into singing, uh, singing generally, and how did you get into singing opera? Um, I got my first role in a school play. I was in f f f f f first grade, mm -hmm. and um, then I just kind of, there, there wasn't much until I was nine, and then I started doing more things, and then I was in my room one day, I think, and we found this um, thing, and, and I'm like, oh, maybe I should try this, and I'm like, okay, I'll try it. <laughs> <laughs> so you started singing, did you start singing before you got into the play, or did you like singing in the bathtub, or <laughs> singing in the car <laughs> along with the radio? Um, I didn't really know I could sing until I was about six, so I'm like, oh, what the heck, what's that? <laughs> um, well, I, I'll tell you a quick story, I'm a terrible singer. And I used to play in a rock and roll band years ago, and so I was on the phone with my mother, right, my own loving mother, and told her in this upcoming show I was going to sing a couple of songs. And my loving mother said, "Kevin, you can't sing." <laughs> 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 now she was, of course, right, <laughs> but um, nonetheless, it was a, we did manage to pull off that show, even though I did sing a few tunes. Um, so, what are you thinking about uh, moving forward? I mean, do you, uh, do you are you interested enough in singing that you? Think you might someday want to make a career of this? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <coughs> Sorry. Yes. Be pretty exciting. Mm -hmm. How about you, Shay? What are you thinking? Oh, I definitely. That's my dream. I want to be a singer. I want to act. That's just. That I I love doing that. So, you just pursue what you love. How do your parents think about that? My parents think that yes, of course you can do it if you follow your dreams. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty progressive thing for them to think, right? Mm -hmm. Henry, your parents behind you? Mm-hmm. Definitely. Yeah. That's pretty cool. You know, of course, that theater is one of the hardest places to work, right? Oh, yeah. They always tell you that? Everyone tells you that? Okay, <laughs> good. Just so you know. Then you pursue your dreams and you know what's coming up, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, um, Make me feel bad. <laughs> so in this show, what, what have you learned, about, uh, what have you learned about, about yourself, about your ability to sing or your ability to act? or What do you know now that, that you might not have known before you got into this show? Well, I find each time I I... I am in a, a play or, or something, mm -hmm. I find at the end I actually get, get better at it. And I'm like, oh, okay, that's good. And, th and, th and th 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 then I'm like, oh, I can do this. Oh, I can do even this. Th and then I get better and better and then opera. <laughs> well, that's pretty exciting. So you keep learning more about what you can do and then you get more encouraged to do even more after mm -hmm. that. That's pretty cool. How about you, Shay? What's I your? agree with Henry. You just kind of it's like a boost. You kind of just progress on what you already know, and then you get better and better and better, better and better, <laughs> and better and, and better, better and better. better. And better, yeah. and better right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, what do you think is next? Are you can keep looking for opera. Oh, definitely, definitely opera. I want to see what's next in Petite Opera pr Productions. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Got some willing recruits here, right? There you go. It's just uh, a really fun experience. Mm -hmm. It's like uh, getting the farm team ready, right? You know, you know, you yeah. Got some people. Yeah. Well, in a lot of ways, we're sort of the farm team for the lyric. I mean, if you think <laughs> about it, you know, well. we're kind of around the the ground floor and getting people mm -hmm. interested early on. And now, I think the the larger like the lyric, they they do run shows that, that occasionally require uh, a child actor or child chorus, something like that, right? I mean, are those things that you guys have have looked at. I mean, Henry, you got uh, any? Um, about being on the lyric stage? Uh, I have gone to to lyric before, but not to audition. I I have mm -hmm. kept trying to, to find auditions, but I keep finding auditions like a like like a week <laughs> a, 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 a after yeah. they've happened. I'm like, oh, great. <laughs> yeah, I, I I know the feeling. It's late and a dollar short. Right? Yeah. yeah. How about you, Shay? You um, looking at the big stage? Yeah, I'm looking at the big stage. The Lyric Opera seems like a really, really fun thing to do, and it's just all about singing. So what kind of, um, do you, I'm, I'm not as familiar as you guys are with, with opera. What, what types of opportunities do you think are available to you in, in the Lyric? Are there enough children's roles or something that could come up that you could fill? I, I'm really not sure about that. I haven't really looked into that. But I bet there's a few roles that are out there. We could definitely be. 
And uh, Susan, you think you're going to be a, the mentor and the guiding spirit for these two young Well, children? that's part of the dream here, I think. I mean, anybody who's coming up through Petite Opera, we're kind of dealing with emerging artists, if you want to call them that. I mean, mm -hmm. most of us have not been, you know, in the, in the limelight on the big, big, big stage. We've been on stage. Um, but this is the kind of the growth area for that. Um, and certainly, um, Shea was in the production last fall with us uh, for Hansel and Gretel. Mm -hmm. So we do try to utilize people that we, you know have proven they're mm -hmm. a good artist and a good, have a good work ethic, mm -hmm. and they're really enthusiastic and they fit the mission. And um, we try to use them as much as we well, can. Well, I think this is a great opportunity for both of you. I applaud you both for taking this uh, challenge on and really doing it. And uh, Susan, thank you for coming back on well, the thank show. You. I hope we'll have you back again when the next big production is planned. Okay, right. thank you very much for inviting right. us. Thank all three of you for being here. Thank you for thank you. letting yeah, us thanks. be on the welcome. show. <laughs> and thank you for joining us once again on Public Perspective. I'm your host, Kevin McDermott.